This image has a secret message hidden inside it, not in watermarks or metadata, but an actual readable message concealed so well you'd never know it was there. And in a few minutes, I'll show you the exact technique hackers use to make this possible. I'm going to first hide the message inside a regular JPEG file and then extract it using nothing but a command line tool, proving that the data was there all along. Now, this is called steganography, which is basically the art of hiding information in plain sight. And unlike encryption, which makes the data unreadable but visible as scrambled code, steganography hides the very existence of the data. Every pixel in an image is made up of binary data like tiny strings of ones and zeros which tell your screen exactly what color to show. But not all bits carry equal weight. The ones at the end called the least significant bits have such tiny impact on color that changing them doesn't really alter how the image looks to the human eye. So hackers take advantage of this by modifying just those bits, allowing them to hide secret data like files, passwords, or messages inside an image that looks completely normal. So without wasting your time, let me show you how this works. The tool we'll use to make this possible is called Steg Hide, and it's a simple but powerful command line tool that hackers and a lot of professionals use to hide secret data inside images. Now you might already have Steg Hide installed on your machine, especially if you're using distros like Kali or Parrot but if not, it's really easy to get it set up. On most Debian-based systems like Ubuntu or Kali, you can just install it simply by first updating your system with sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade. And then once you update your system, just simply run sudo apt install stack height. Now this will download and install the tool along with all the necessary dependencies. Keep in mind that this is the official website for the tool. So if you're on Windows or another OS, you can download the official binaries from the website or compile from source code. But for this demo, I'm just showing you how it works on Linux. Now, once you install the steg hide on your system, you can just verify it by typing steg hide dash dash help, which will show you the available commands and options to get started. So now that we install the tool, let's actually put this to work. So here I've got two files in my working directory. The first one is called cover.jpg, which is just a normal looking JPEG image. And the second one is secret .txt, which is the file that contains the hidden message we're going to hide inside that JPEG file. Now to embed this secret message in the JPEG file, we will use the embed command in the steg hide tool along with two important flags. The first flag is dash cf, which will point to the cover image and in our case, it will be cover.jpg. Now this is the innocent looking file that will hide our message. The second flag is dash ef, which points to the embedded file and here it's going to be the secret secret.txt, which is the text we want to conceal inside the image. So our entire command will look like this, steg hide embed dash cf cover.jpg dash ef secret.txt. Now when we run this command, steg hide will ask for a password. Now this step is key because the password encrypts the hidden data so that even if someone suspects this image contains something, they won't be able to read it without the correct password. Once we hit enter and set our password, the embedding process is now complete. The cover.jpg image now secretly contains our message, but if we open it, it will look completely unchanged. There is no distortion, no strange effects, or anything that will give it away. Now let's pretend that we're the intended recipient who knows that there's a secret inside this image. Now to extract it, we can use the extract command in the steg hide tool along with the dash sf flag, which basically stands for stego file, meaning the image that that contains the hidden data. So all we will have to do is just specify that file. So when we want to extract a hidden message, our command will look like this, steg hide extract dash sf cover.jpg. If we hit enter, steg hide will ask for the same password we used when embedding. If the password matches, then it will pull the hidden file back out. And as you can see, the secret.txt is now visible in our working directory. So if we open it, we can see the exact hidden message we started with safely stored inside that seemingly harmless JPEG file. Keep in mind that steganography can be used for ethical purposes like protecting privacy, watermarking, or safely transmitting sensitive data, but it can also be abused to hide stolen information or deliver malicious code. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.